Hey everyone, Micah here with ebikeschool.com. Now I hope that all of my American followers had a great Thanksgiving yesterday with their families and today are enjoying an awesome Black Friday. For those of you that are looking for a deal on an electric bicycle or an electric scooter, today I am showing you the top eight electric bike and electric scooter sales that I have found. So hopefully you can save some money on a new set of electric wheels. And while you're here, make sure you watch the video to the end because I'm going to be revealing a teaser for a cool new project I am running at the end of this year to try and make 2020 a little bit better of a year. All right, now let's get to those sales. And uh, just to note, you can find a link to every one of these sales in the description below this video. If you do find out about one of these sales and you want to get one of these bikes, I hope you'll click on those links because that's how I keep this channel free and keep making all these free videos is through affiliate links. So thanks for helping support me and hopefully you find a cool bike. All right, let's check out the sales. Coming up first is the Electric XP. Now, most people know about this e-bike already. It is an awesome $899 folding fat tire e-bike. It's not the best bike out there, but at that price, it has an incredible combination of value, components, performance. It's just an awesome little e-bike. Now, the bike is not any cheaper today on Black Friday. It's still $899, but Electric Bikes is selling it with a cool accessory bundle that makes the bike both more comfortable and more utilitarian. So in addition to the standard Electric XP, which comes in either a step-through frame or a step-over frame, you're also getting a suspension seat post, a larger, more comfortable saddle, and uh, pannier bags that go on the side of the e-bike and add more utility. That's a pretty good deal, and if you've been waiting to get Electric XP, today's probably the day because that's a nice set of accessories that's just gonna make the bike a lot more comfortable and more useful. And next up, we have Rad Power Bikes. Now, of course, Rad Power Bikes, they're the biggest e-bike company in the US. Everyone knows who they are. They have some awesome rides. This year, they've got a few different bundles, kind of like the Electric XP bundle where the e-bike itself is not any cheaper, but on three of their bikes, the Rad Mission, the Rad Runner, and the Rad Rover Step Through, you can get a pile of accessories that just make the bikes better, including utility things like racks, uh, really nice Abus lock, that sort of thing. And uh, there's a big discount on those utility bundles. So depending on the bike, it's between 200 to $250 off, and they're just ways to make the bikes more useful. I would have loved to have seen an actual dropping of prices, so for people that don't need all those extra accessories, but to be honest, it's still a great deal. The, the bikes are already worth the prices they're at, and you get a lot of great accessories too. I've been riding around on the Rad Mission, which I actually have behind me here, and uh, you're already going to want to get some of the accessories that are in that bundle, like the kickstand and such. Uh, also those fenders if you live somewhere where it's rainy, so I definitely recommend this if you've been looking for one of these Rad Power bikes. Next we have Juiced Bikes, which has a number of different sales. Basically all of their e-bikes are marked down, some of them significantly. Like if you take a look at that Hyper Scorpion, which I've reviewed in the past and is an awesome electric moped, that's normally priced at $3,000, but is on sale now for just $2,200. So that's $800 off of the Hyper Scorpion. That is an over 30 mile per hour e-bike that gets great range, it's got full suspension, it's got that awesome moped frame, just that's a crazy deal, 800 bucks off. And if you don't need so much power, you know that one, the Hyper Scorpion, it's over 1500 watts. If you can go with a little bit less power, a little bit less speed, the regular Scorpion still gets you that awesome frame, the seat, the headlight, the full suspension, but it's more affordable. It's normally priced at about 2000 bucks, but it's on sale on Black Friday for $500 off, so you can get it for 1500 bucks. Basically all of Juiced Bikes are on sale now for different amounts, so make sure you go check out the page and uh, you'll probably find an e-bike that interests you. Okay, next up we have Ride One Up. This is a really cool company because they have bikes that other companies just don't seem to offer, like the Roadster V2. This is a single speed belt drive e-bike for under a thousand bucks. It's 995 bucks. But with this sale on Black Friday, Ride One Up has a number of different models for sale between 50 to $150 off. Now the uh, specific bikes that they have, different sales for varies. They've got a page that shows um, which bikes have which sales and it depends on the style and the color, etc. So it's probably based on what inventory they have more of right now. And some of them are already sold out. So you're gonna wanna make sure you head over there pretty quickly and check these out. But for bikes that are already incredibly affordable to take 50 to 150 bucks off, it's a pretty good deal. Next we have Aventon, which has both the Aventon Level and the Aventon Cinch on sale. Uh, the Cinch is a folding fat tire bike, while the Level is more of a commuter bike. 
Both of these are really awesome bikes. I've reviewed both. Uh, the cinch is more like sort of fun recreational riding around with those big fat tires, though you could use it for commuting. And the level is more of a commuter oriented e-bike, though you could use it for recreational riding as well. Both of them are good deals and they're both $100 off of an already good price. The level is probably my favorite between the two. It's just a really good value. You know, you get those hydraulic disc brakes, you get that really nicely welded frame. All of Aventon's bikes are just super well constructed. You get an eight speed transmission, Shimano parts. This is just a really nicely made e-bike that gets up to 28 miles per hour and yet only costs normally $15.99, but today is only $14.99. So that's an awesome deal, especially when you compare it to the competition and when you consider some of the nice little touches like the integrated battery instead of a bolt-on battery, those sorts of things. So I definitely recommend checking out Aventon if you're looking for a really nicely made, high-quality e-bike that isn't going to break the bank. All right, and this is future Micah coming to you because I didn't realize that Priority is actually having a uh, Black Friday sale on their Priority Current until I started editing the video. So I've got to include this one because this is an awesome e-bike. I actually own this. I even bought this bike because I just thought it was so great. It's normally a $3,000 e-bike, which I know sounds expensive, but not only is it $300 off on Black Friday, with the coupon code HOLIDAY300, but you get so much value with this bike. This is obviously a higher end e-bike. Some of the differences are that you have a mid-drive motor here. This is a super powerful motor. It's got 140 newton meters of torque. Then on the back end, you've got a, a Nuvinci Enviolo continuously variable transmission. It's stepless, so it's super nice to use. It has a 380% uh, gear range. You've of course got the Gates belt drive here. I made a whole video about um, how much I like these belt drives and I love Gates as a company. Uh, let's see, you've got the hydraulic disc brakes. This is just an incredibly nice bike with an integrated battery. Um, it's got that nice display up there. It's just, I can't say enough nice things about the Priority Current. This bike is just so nice to ride. It's so smooth with that belt drive. The transmission works great. Um, it just, it rides forever. I get, even without pedaling that hard, I get easily 30 miles or 50 kilometers of range. And people who actually leave this in a very low pedal assist can get twice that much. So just a really uh, efficient, fun to ride bike that's so smooth and so nice as a commuter bike. So I definitely recommend this one. And hey, the fact that I own it should say something right there. Next up, we have Blix. Blix makes Dutch style e-bikes, so they're a little more elegant. They're a little more nicely designed, a little more refined looking than some of the other e-bikes out there. If you take a look at something like the Blix Vika, uh, which is a folding bike, or the uh, Blix Aveni, which is more of a commuter messenger style bike, I've actually ridden both of these. Again, both great bikes. And really all of Blix's bikes are just, they're nicely made, they look great. They're, they're a different type of e-bike, so they're definitely more for someone who cares about the appearance of the bike versus something that's just a functional bike. But I really like them, and there's actually a really good sale going on right now where you can get between $200 off if you're buying one bike or up to $500 off if you're buying two bikes. So if maybe you and your partner both want to get some nice looking sort of cruise around town on a Dutch style bike, this would be a good way to do it. The prices are reasonable most of the year. They don't have perhaps the same value as some of the other companies, but I would say that with this sale, these are really good prices and I definitely recommend Blix for a, sort of a Dutch style, more elegant looking e-bike. All right, now let's take a look at a couple of electric scooter companies. Uh, the first one is going to be Fluid Free Ride. I've ridden probably most of Fluid Free Ride's electric scooters by now. Uh, they're a Miami-based company. They've got some great options. I've actually visited, I met Julian. He's an awesome dude, and I just, I can't recommend them enough because I've had such good experience working with them as a company and with their scooters. They've got different sales going on, so you can save, you know, between 50, 100 bucks here to several hundred dollars on some of their scooters. But they also have a really cool program where they've partnered with Trees for the Future, which uh, helps them plant trees for each sale. And so anyone who takes advantage of one of their electric scooter deals, they're going to plant 100 trees in a sustainable location. And it's just a really good program. So I also recommend checking out Trees for the Future because I really appreciate what they're doing. And hey, if you can buy an electric scooter for a discounted price and help the environment by putting in some trees, that's a win-win, right? 
So uh, check out Fluid Free Ride. Again, links in the description below, and you'll find that they've got uh, over a half dozen different scooters on sale for different amounts. Last but not least is Apollo Scooter. Now this is a company based in Toronto, so they're in Canada, but they ship across the US for free, and they have 10 different servicing centers in the US, so you don't have to worry about if you have an issue or you're gonna have to send this back to Canada. Um, so it's kind of an interesting combination. The other nice thing is that because they're Canadian, they don't charge you sales tax in the US, so it's a nice little benefit. This Black Friday, they've got sales of between $100 to $500 off depending on the model. They have a number of different models. I've ridden so far two of them, the Apollo Pro and the Apollo Explorer. Both great options. The Explorer is a little better for someone who wants a uh, more reasonable commuter scooter. And the Apollo Pro is better for someone who wants a sort of more uh, robust, rugged, longer suspension, um, that type of scooter for doing a little more extreme scooting. Both of them are in the 30-somethings of miles per hour. The Apollo Explorer is like 32, while the Apollo Pro I think is uh, like the high 30s, maybe 38, something like that. So both very fast, very powerful scooters with full suspension, but for sort of different purposes. In addition to the electric bicycle and the electric scooter deals, there's also an interesting sale going on at Battery Hookup. So if you're like me and you enjoy building your own lithium ion batteries for your e-bikes, e-scooters, or any other project, maybe a solar power project, definitely check out uh, Battery Hookup right now. They've got 15% off of all of their batteries. And it's a great place to get uh, either new cells that are like NOS or partially used salvage cells and basically save a lot of money when it comes to building batteries because you can get a lot of different resources for battery building. Uh, one of the cool things they offer is not just individual cells, but they actually have different packs. So you can take packs that have been salvaged from modems or for scooters or for electric cars, those sorts of things, and start with a already made battery that you can then combine into different types of larger packs. So a really cool resource if you're into battery building and you want to save a lot of money on getting those battery cells. All right, so those are my top eight Black Friday electric bike or electric scooter deal recommendations. I hope you found those helpful if you've been in the market for an e-bike or an e-scooter. Uh, before I go though, I just want to give you guys a little bit of a teaser. So 2020 has been a, uh, how should we put this? Something of a rough year. If it was a movie, I would have walked out pretty early on. And uh, while a lot of us got by, you know, decently well, it's been pretty tough for a lot of people. You know, there have been people that have been laid off, that have uh, caught COVID, that have had, you know, severe economic uh, impacts from the COVID-19 pandemic. And so I'm working on a new project that I'm going to be announcing in hopefully the next week or two that I'm going to try to do something really cool. It's uh, centered around a giveaway. I can't give out too many details just yet because I'm still finalizing things, but I'm really excited about this project. I think it's going to be pretty cool. And so make sure you're checking back over the next few weeks, especially if 2020 has been an extra tough year for you because I'm going to try and find a way to make it a little bit better. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. Last but not least, it is time to announce the winner of my last giveaway. And the randomly selected commenter is... Travis Delaney. So congratulations, just let me know which one of my books you'd like, either DIY Lithium Batteries, DIY Solar Power, The Ultimate Do-It-Yourself E-Bike Guide, or Electric Motorcycles, and anybody else who wants a chance to win one of my books for free, all you have to do is put a comment down below. You can say anything you'd like, and hopefully you'll be the randomly selected commenter at the end of my next video. And if you don't want to wait that long, you can always find my books on Amazon. Thanks for watching everybody, I'll see you next time.